Hi, welcome back to Magical Curiosities. Um, I wanted to do a follow-up video on, on the wand tutorial that I did back in May, which was my first video, just because a lot of people have been doing it and following it and subscribed to hear the updates. And I have learned a bit about painting. Um, I've changed the kind of glue I use and um, just a few things, a few little things I've learned and things I do differently now. Um, I still do a lot of things the same, but um, today we're learning about crystal wands. I also have shell wands, and we'll lear be learning about those in another video. I don't know if I should do that soon or maybe wait till summer since they're kind of a mermaid thing. But um, shell wands where we'll learn how to paint them to look like um, oxidizing copper and how to put the beads along the shaft um, and just how to get the seashells to stick because they don't have a bead hole. Um, the crystal wands, um, are something that people wanted to learn how to do because, um, oh, well, crystals are beautiful, right? And where to get crystals. Um, they look better in person, but you can kind of see the crystal. And also, I wanted to show you a little bit about how to make these galaxy wands um, and what it looks like when you use a white background instead of a black background, some different painting techniques. Um, I have so many ideas on videos to do for you guys, so Stay tuned to the end and take a vote on the poll that I put up about what kind of videos you want to see from me next. And I will, um, I will follow your lead and go with what you guys want to see. Okay, let's get started. Just wanted to show you a few examples of what I have left. Um, they have multicolored strands of crystals, which are probably my favorite. But you do want to use some sort of contrasting paint so things stand out. I think it really helps when things are contrasting rather than matching, but go with whatever your heart desires. Um, you don't have to use crystals, obviously. You can use natural stone. I really like the topaz. Um, sorry, not topaz. Um, how light ones that they have in the store. And agate, they have beautiful agate stones. And amethyst rocks. I don't have any pictures here because they have all sold, but they have some beautiful sparkly druzy. And those ones really stand out because of the, the sparkles. So, and they have bead holes, so they're easy to get to stick on. You can do single stones. I, I kind of like the single stones even better than the um, clusters, but um, I've found that people at fairs really have liked the clusters. Um, so take a look at the stores. Go to a gem fair if you want some higher quality crystals. Okay, so you need to start with some beaded crystals, some that have a bead hole going through them. Um, I think Color Gallery, I got them from Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby has quite a few different um, crystal strands. You could also get them online, of course. Um, I think Etsy is a really good source for getting um, crystal beads, but um, there's probably other sources. And if you know a good source, maybe leave it in the comments so the rest of us can know. Um, I really like using not just crystals, but other natural stones uh, um, such as topaz and things like that. Um, so I like to use like a bigger one for the center and then put little ones around them. Um, but there's lots of different ways you could do it. You could just do one crystal. But here's the crystal cluster way that um, is probably my favorite lately. You get your wire and you stick it through the big one and start wrapping it around just like you did um, just like I showed you how to do with the other video wrap it around tight so that it's not floppy see it's not too floppy now then get a little bit more and strand all those little crystals onto your wire These crystals are all natural quartz crystal, but they have like an artificial, I think it's chemically derived coloring. Um, I think this one's called like a angel aura quartz or something. It's really beautiful. Um, some people don't like the unnatural colors, but you can get them with no colors added um, or find maybe like um, amethyst pieces if you want. They're probably a little more expensive than the colored quartz pieces. Anyway, once you've got a few of them, enough of them to wrap around the whole thing, then 
get your glue gun out, let it heat up a little while, and then put some of that hot glue around so that you have kind of a sticky place to put them. Okay, now get that strand of crystals. And start wrapping around. And you might have noticed that my hot glue is black. And this is one of the new tricks that I started this video to show you guys. And I'll explain more why I picked black glue instead of using the clear glue a little bit later. Hint, it has something to do with easier to paint. And you can order the black glue on Amazon. That's what I do. I could all find the link and put it in the comment. I mean, not in the comments, in the description. So you wrap it around that glue part, secure it around the rest, make sure it's just on there real tight. And then, of course, you're going to start adding the hot glue to secure the wire. The longer you, uh, my, my glue gun just goes off and on, the one that I'm using for black. Um, it's kind of nasty, pay no attention to the fur on the hot glue gun. <laughs> but it just goes on and off, but it goes really high heat. I like to let it heat up really high, just so that it comes out faster. And then, <clears throat> if you want to do more details, you'll want a lower heat because it, it really runs very fast when it's super hot. And the hotter it is, the faster you can get this work done because you want to put a lot of glue on it. A lot of these hot glue gun wands that I've seen are really um, just a tiny bit of glue on a chopstick. And while that's not bad, I just don't feel like they have the same weight the same I don't know they just don't feel as nice the design I'm doing on this one is kind of a drippy design so I'm holding it upside down and putting really hot glue on in stripes to and kind of letting it um drip down like it's like molten lava or not molten lava like molten iron or something that had been on it and then to get it to freeze when I like the way it started to look I put it in the water and all of this is more detailed in that very first one tutorial, so I really would go back and watch it if you want more details, if that's what you feel you need. Also, the freezing of it in the water just does it like a shell, and you can put it on the top. This is a little clip from the other video because I didn't have mine. You can see the, the clear glue is going to need more work on the painting, but sharpen the ends of your wand with the pencil sharpener maybe not all the way don't give it a huge t huge sharp tip just a little bit dull on the end and then give it kind of a rounded end with the um, sandpaper the pencil sharpener just gives you a faster way to do that if you don't have a pencil sharpener just you know sand it all the way it just gives you a faster way to get there okay and I used to spray paint this is one of the other new tricks that I have. See, the spray paint would get all over the gems at the top, and sometimes I would have to take it off with um, nail polish remover, acetone, whatever, and it was a real pain. So I started using a high-quality black acrylic matte paint instead and just brush it on, and you can do layers, and this stuff dries really fast. So... In a way, I think it was easier than doing the spray paint, even when I do them one by one. The nice thing about the spray paint is if you're doing a big, high quantity of them, it's fast. And if I didn't have jewels on them, if I was doing just cheap ones that didn't have jewels on the top, I would probably still do the spray paint. But I do like this high quality um, acrylic black paint idea. And having the black glue... Um, makes it so that you don't have to do as much detail right at the top. You don't have to get spend as much time getting each little spot at the top by the crystals. You just get close to it. I like it to be matte. The glue is shiny, so I still like to paint all the glue with the black matte before you go on to the next part. But 
yeah, it really makes it a lot easier to have that black glue. After the matte black has dried, you want to get some um, nice shiny metallic paint. I think shows up great on it. And dry brush it over top. And you can see much more of the details on how to do that in the original vi video. And also more details about the gluing. Um, here is the Galaxy ones that I told you about. And I want to show you how to do these new Galaxy ones that have been really popular. The paint that you want to use for um, the galaxy looking ones, maybe a blue or purple, or I think are the best, but you could go with any color you like. Or the color shift, you could use metallic, but I really like the color shift because I feel it feels a little more nebula like than the metallic. Um, I do believe this one is metallic purple, but you can see this color shift one how it's more like pearly. I think this is a color shift blue. Um, and this one's the color shift purple like the one I showed you. I really like how it's almost like see-through a little bit. Um, it really gives that galaxy feel to it. Um, and as you can see, some of these I did a dry brush over top like I showed you how to do in the other video, kind of leaving a little bit of the black color in the cracks. But one thing I really have started to like to do is paint it really just cover the whole thing um, with a lot of paint getting it right into the cracks and then with a wet wipe or wet cloth you just go and brush it off of the high points so the high points are black and the low points are colored and doing that on like a swirl wand just looks really cool for a galaxy wand i really dig it um so doing that with color shift and then for your glitter at first i was using this and i switched for this recent batch to glitterific and i'll tell you what the glitterific is easier to paint on but the glitterific um while it's beautiful it has these really big chunks which i don't really super like if you can see they're like triangular. I prefer the ones that are just dots, you know? But it has these triangular confetti pieces in it. Sometimes they kind of look like they're flaking right off and I don't like that a lot. All the ones that I used with this are already sold so I don't have any to show you. But um, Finger Paints Nail Polish doesn't have any of those triangulars. It has small glitter and it has large glitter and they're all holographic glitter. Not just a silver glitter, but a holographic glitter that goes rainbowy in the sun, as you can see. When I turn it, you can see rainbow shift. Um, this one is called Colorful Collage, and I do believe I bought it at Sally's Beauty Supply. I haven't seen this at Walmart or anything, um, but maybe you could find uh, another one that you like better. If you find another one you like better, let, let us know in the comments and we'll share our ideas with each other. So that's how you do the um, galaxy wands and they have been super popular at festivals and fairs with like teenagers <clears throat> so if you're selling wands I would definitely make some they've been one of my most popular ones that have sold experiment I tried <clears throat> is using a white hot glue or painting a white after you've done the glue I wouldn't use black if you're doing this either use a white hot glue or clear and then paint it white and um I've got some glare here. I had a lot of it rub off on this one. I don't know why. Uh, maybe the paint, the glue I was using was um, fabric glue gun paint, and I'm thinking it didn't take paint as well. But I also had them in a thing with some black ones, and some of the black rubbed off on these ones. So it's not looking great, but that has to do with the quality of the paint um, finish, and maybe I didn't um, take care of it very well. Maybe I needed to do some extra layers, but I feel like it doesn't hide sins as well. <laughs> also, I think the white one might look better with the color in the cracks and the white on the outside, just like I showed you with the Galaxy. Um, like I only did like two of these white ones as an experiment, and I would definitely next time try doing the white on the outside. So getting your color right into the cracks, then take a wet towel or wet wipe or wet paper towel and just wipe it all off on the outside, leaving it in the cracks. I think that would look really cool, especially if then you add like kind of a translucent shimmer 
This one has the white in the cracks and I just feel like it seems wrong. Like no one has lighter in the cracks, right? So, but if you do this with like a blue, um, which is what I did my other one with and it turned out really well, but I sold it already so I can't show you. Um, it kind of looks like a ice queen wand, like an Elsa wand or something. And that's what the little girl who bought it said. She said, it's an Elsa wand, mommy, it's an Elsa wand. And I had some clear crystals on top with the blue on top of the white and it looked really icy and beautiful. So that's another thing you can experiment trying with. It's really cool. As I pointed out earlier, I've been using um, black glue, partly because if you are one that has really sweaty hands and you handle this a lot, say you're a kid maybe, um, the paint can rub off, especially if you haven't put a protective coating on top of the one layer of paint. Um, <clears throat> and if the paint rubs off and you see clear hot glue, it's just, it kind of, it's pretty sad. But if this rubs off and you see a little bit of black, it's not as big of a deal um, because the black kind of blends in. You see black pieces along it anyways. So that's part of the reason I wanted to do hot, uh, black hot glue. Also, all these little details inside, it's really hard to get everything painted black without touching all the crystals and all the little beads. So it's easier to do a dry brush of gold on top in the cracks, but not so much the black undercoat because you've got to touch everything. You don't want any clear glue showing or it looks really tacky, in my opinion. So that's part of another reason why I use black hot glue. In instead of, uh, and then painted with acrylic um, brush on paint instead of the spray paint. But I had a commenter just today comment about one thing you can do about overspray if you do want to use spray paint. And it is so brilliant to me. I cannot believe how cool it is. If you do want to use spray paint, get, um, what was it, putty, silly putty which is super cheap, you can get it at a dollar store, and cover your beads with the Silly Putty. Um, that's probably a lot easier to do than it is to masking tape it off. Because um, I've masking taped it off and there's all these tiny little places, really hard to masking tape it all off, in my opinion. So Silly Putty could be your answer, and then you could use spray paint if you'd like. Um, but I'm really digging the, uh, the paint on method that I've been doing lately. I thought it would go slower, but it really goes so fast to paint it on. Okay, so that's it. Um, if you have any other, other questions or um, you're confused about anything on the wand making, just comment and I will help you with that. I'll guide you through it. I hope this helped with some of the questions about crystals and about painting and about the hot glue. I'll include all the links in the description part of the video. Um, I, like I said before, I have a lot of different ideas for videos and a lot of things I've been working on, but I don't know exactly what you guys want for your video. So I thought I would do a little poll. If you want, uh, I think it'll be, yes, right here on the left. Um, if you want witchy stuff, basically um, things that are witch aesthetic with crystals, potion bottles, witch bottles, moon stars, tools, brooms. If you want witchy stuff, um, vote for that. If you want Harry Potter crafts, things like decorations, things for parties, um, props, um, things like that, then vote for Harry Potter. Um, if you want cosplay and costume ideas and how-tos, vote for that. And lastly, um, general magical curiosities, basically things that are like specimens, like unicorn horns, um, dragon horns, dragon teeth and fangs, um, fairy wings or dead fairies or, or actual live fairies made out of dolls, things like that. If you want specimens of magical, general magical things, then vote for that. Um, and then I'll get started on making tons of content for you guys. Thank you so much for subscribing. I really appreciate it. Have a good day.